Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can record the screen at the POCO X4 GT. Yeah, for that uh, you don't need an extra app for, so you have already a built-in screen recorder here in that phone. So let me show you how you can use it. So for that we will need the control center here. So just scroll down right next to the camera to have the control center like this and then you will have here some shortcuts. And by the way, you will have a second page here. And one of these new shortcuts is here, the screen recorder. So just tap on screen recorder and you will have this little tool here. Now you can move this tool to another position and it doesn't disturb too much and so on. Yeah. The first icon here is to record. I think you can imagine already. Né? Then the tool becomes almost invisible so that it doesn't disturb and now you can record your actions here on the screen. Uh, if you want to stop the video, you have to tap one more time to make this little tool visible. Huh? So make this tool, little tool visible and then tap your on stop and the uh, screen recording have stopped. So where to find the screen recording huh? at the gallery and with this folder here right next to the uh, recording button, you are directly here at the screen recording area and here you will see your screen recordings. So, um, and the third icon here, very important, are the settings for the screen recording. So points like the resolution or the video quality and so on that um, affects the size of the file because as better the video quality and resolution is and so on and as well the frame rate as higher it is as more storage it takes and the storage is limited so take care. So in case you are doing just a simple tutorial you don't need the, the, the highest resolution and so on. Yeah? So also this point is important, the sound source. No? So that means if you just want to have the system sounds or the sound from the app, no? or if you want to have the microphone in case you want to explain something in a tutorial or something like this. And if you want, you can mute also everything. Okay. And for me also very important are the points show touch gestures and show button taps. Because if you want to explain something in a tutorial, no one really sees where you have tapped on the screen and where which button you have pressed and so on. But with that, you can make it visible. So in the video, you will see then a little animation later, um, which button you have pressed and where you have touched the screen and so on. Very useful. Yeah. And if you want to stop the video recording tool here, or if you want to make it invisible again, just tap you on the X and it is gone. But you can have it always back if you just uh, go here to the control center, uh, as I have shown you before. Yeah, uh, and where you find later the screen recordings, if you don't want to go always to the screen recording, you will find it here at the gallery. Um, yeah, here we will have it on the photos and so on as well. But if you go into the albums here, you will have an own folder just for your screenshots and your screen recordings. And by the way, apropos, if you just want to have a picture from the screen, so just a screenshot, you can do something very simple. Take three fingers, swipe down across the screen, and you will have just a picture from the screen. In case you don't want to have a video, if you just want to have a simple picture. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and uh, answer your question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or yeah, you can give me a thumbs up and so on if you really like that. That uh, helps my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos with some more tips and tricks and so on if you want. You can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.